tell him how great he is, our maker, our creator, our savior, our redeemer, our shield, our fortress, our buckler, our refuge, our glory, and the litter of our head, our yesterday, our today, our tomorrow. Can you lift up your voice and reference him tonight? Can you exalt him? Can you magnify him? For our God is worthy to be praised, worthy to be adored. Can you begin to thank him for the grace to wait upon him? The grace to seek his face. Oh, day and night, appreciate God, appreciate God, appreciate God, appreciate God, appreciate God because your seeking him is not in vain. Appreciate him for every prayer that the Lord has answered, the one he's yet to answer, the one he will never answer. Thank you for preserving your going out and your coming in. <laughs> you went out today, you came back safely. The road did not consume you. It did not permit any tragedy. <laughs> it did not allow you to weep. It did not allow you to mourn. Can you thank him and thank him on behalf of every member of your household? Appreciate God. Thank him for first half of the year. Thank him for how he started the second half. Thank him, thank him, thank him for the great and glorious thing that the Lord has in store for us. Because our gathering is not in vain. Our seeking him is not in vain. Can you appreciate God? Masu kale mashen talia. Pale masu tele braka te gazan talia. Daddy, we honor you tonight. Lord, we magnify you tonight. For whatever we are is by your grace, oh God. Daddy, please accept my worship. Accept our thanks. Ah, kalika pale mama. For all you've done for us so far. Can you thank God for all that he has done so far? Oh, the healing, the deliverances, the breakthroughs, the lifting, the promotions. Let's appreciate God for all the blessings. Kalika Kapale Bakasantali. Thank you for what he said to do tonight. Because our coming here tonight will not be in vain. Hey, Kaliba Baba Baba Baba. Jema Kalebos Keteli Mama Shentelia. Zibe Kazuta Pa Luz Kapali Glada. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we are worship. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Oh, Lord, I God. Have mercy upon me. You are praying. Have mercy upon me. I say. Have mercy upon me. Oh Lord. Have mercy. Have mercy upon me. Jehovah God. Have mercy upon me. I say, have mercy upon me, O Lord. Have mercy upon me, O mighty God. Have mercy upon me, have mercy upon me, O upon me. Be gracious upon me. Be gracious all for me. Oh, today, today, be gracious all for me. Be gracious all for me. I say, be gracious all for me. Oh, today, be gracious all for me. Something new. Do something new in my life. Something new in my life. Something new in my life. Oh, Lord. Something new in my life. Something new. Those prayers, those songs of prayer, say, Father, 
I humble myself before you tonight. Please have mercy on me. And hear me tonight. Lord, please have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy on me, oh God. Kali kapa. Kale ma santali mama. Kale brodo ka santali mama. Thank you, mighty Father. Salima ka shenteli ma ka santali. Can you ask him for mercy tonight? Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have worshipped. I thought somebody would say better. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. And let's keep be seated for a while. Praise the Lord. We are still on our program. Let my second heart be better than my what? First heart. This night, we are starting from the song we sang last. Do something new in my life. Today is the ninth day of our program. When a woman carry pregnancy for nine months, at the nine month, a new thing comes forth. Am I correct? And this is the night night. In that name that is above every other name. One new thing that will make you end this second half better than you started, God will do in your life. Amen. Yesterday, the Lord visited us as we cried to him for mercy. Indeed, he had mercy. Up is a new thing. A new what? A new thing. Isaiah 43. Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. It's a popular Bible passage that we all know. He said, Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. He said, Behold, I will do what? I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. When will it spring forth? I can't hear loud and clear. When will that new thing spring forth? In your life, when, sir? Say, now shall it spring forth? Shall he not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Beloved, one area we can anchor our faith if we desire and if we want and if we want to see our second half getting far better and glorious than our first half one of the ways God can do it is for him to do a new thing. Praise the Lord. He's trying to do what? A new thing. Certain things are likely to happen before God will do a new thing. Number one, if God wants to do a new thing, He rained the heavens. He opened the heavens. 
That is why no farmer can get a new harvest when heaven have not opened and released rain upon the crop. When the heaven opened and rain is released upon the crops planted by the farmer, then the farmer have a new harvest. The farmer can eat a new year. And I pray for only one person. Tonight, tonight, in a way you have never experienced before, your heaven will open. Yeah. Number two things that God will do when he wants to give you a new thing is that he end the old order. <laughs> God will make an end of what? The old order. And that's why he said in that verse 18, remember not the former things. He said, behold, I will do what? A new thing. Can I pray for only one person? All your past experiences in the beginning of the year or for some time now, that have not been pleasant. God will do a thing that will wipe away the memory. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. Yeah. I don't know whether you have experienced it before. When you are in the house and there is heat, maybe as a result of no light. Am I correct? And suddenly, light comes. And you switch on the AC. Hello. Within five to ten minutes, you will suddenly forget that there was heat before. Am I correct? Because why? A new thing has. Can I pray for you, sir? Stand on your feet. Whatever you have suffered till this moment. A miracle and a breakthrough. A new thing that will make you forget them all. In this second half, God will accomplish in your life. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say loud and clear. Yeah. You see, temporary why we are going to pray. Just allow me to prepare the background for our faith to be released. Don't forget we are combining dignity with uh, prayers. So that's why I'm taking little time to just do some little Bible study before we go into the prayer session. What will happen before God will do a new thing? I told you number one, your heaven must be open. On the day of Pentecost, when the heaven opened and there was massive outpouring of the Spirit in Acts chapter 2, verse 1 to 4, a new thing happened. What people have never seen before, they saw it. When the heaven opened for Moses, he saw a new thing. He saw a Buddha that was burning and was not consumed. When the heaven opened for Shedah, Meshach, and Abednego in the book of Daniel chapter 3, they saw a new thing. The fourth man was in the fire with them. Where did the fourth man came from? Heaven. Why? They are heaven open in the fire. Praise God. Whose turn is it for heaven to open? Yo, we open tonight. Until the heaven of Jesus opened. Nothing new started in his life. But when the heaven opened, the Bible said the spirit descended upon him at River Jordan. And a voice spoke. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And for that day onward, the Holy Ghost began to move him, led him to the wilderness, returned back in the power of the Holy Ghost. And that usher in a ministry the world have never seen before. A new thing. And I told us, if God will do a new thing, you will make an end to everything that is old. Number three, if God will do a new thing for you, 
God will suspend the natural laws. The what? The That's why you can hear God saying, I will make a way in the wilderness. When you are in the wilderness, you can actually identify the pathway. Because everywhere is sandy. If you are in the desert, you at least find water. Praise God. Oh, you suspend the natural order. I pray for you. In that name that is above every other name. For your sake tonight, you will suspend the natural order. In the book of 2 Kings chapter 6, when the sons of prophet lost the ass head, are you supposed to sink? That's the natural order. Am I correct? <laughs> but when God suspended the natural order and the prophet of God threw a stick where the iron head sank, what happened? The iron head swim back. That was a new thing. Am I correct? Because natural order was what? Suspended. Can I pray for only one person? Whatever God needs to suspend for this second half to be better for you than the first half, in all ramification, that suspension will take place tonight. I thought you would say convincing amen. amen. When God wants to do a new thing, what does he do? Number four, because of time. May decide to pay you a visit. It will make you to receive divine visitation. <laughs> Praise the Lord. When Solomon received divine visitation, a new thing happened to his life. He became stupendously rich, stupendously wise. Stupendously great. There's somebody here tonight. Before the end of these 14 days of waiting, you will receive a visitation. Amen. Only one person is saying amen. amen. I say you receive a visitation. Amen. A visitation that will usher in a new thing in your life. At the order of Mary. Praise God. Mary received a visitation and a new thing happened. What has never happened before? A virgin conceiving without having a carnal knowledge of man. A visitation. Stand on your feet. Praise God. I say praise God. How many of you believe that you can receive a visitation? Either you say amen or not. How God will visit you, I don't know. But this second half of this year, a visitation that will turn your story around. May you receive the animal Jesus. Get ready for a visitation. Even right now. As you are standing here right now, Malika Pagazo Talia, you will receive a visitation. Amen. You are saying, Amen, say it loudly. Amen. I say, say it loudly. Amen. Say it loudly. Be seated for a while. You are going to pray very soon. Beloved, what happened? When God wants to remember you. Sorry, when God wants to do a new thing. Of course, He will remember you. This second half, a book of remembrance will be open. Can I prophesy into the life of only one person? All those that ought to have helped you before now, all those that ought to have been a blessing to you, that have forgotten you one way or the other. This second half, 
either they like it or not, they will remember you. I said they will remember you. When suddenly Samuel asked Jesse, are all these your children? David was remembered. <laughs> Praise God. David was what? Remembered. And a new thing happened. <laughs> a new what? A new thing happened. Suddenly he became the king. Why was remembered? When Jesus was parading all his sons before Samuel, David was never in the reckoning until this master, uh, until the prophet said that the Jesse, all these your sons, I remember one. He's a non-entity. He's inconsequential. There was no need for him to have been brought. And the prophet of God said, well, we will not sit down <laughs> until he is brought. And they were looking for him. And he took the shine of all of them. Hmm. For somebody listening to me, sir, in the organization where you are working, after tonight, they will remember you. Beloved, it was remembrance that brought Joseph to the palace. It was remembered. It was remembrance that brought a new thing to the life of Hannah and Rachel. Whenever God remembers you, he does a new thing. And it is your turn. <laughs> Beloved, when God wants to do a new thing, you have a role to play. You do what? Number one, you must have faith in the God that you are seeking and you are waiting upon. That's your responsibility. For God to do a new thing, you must exercise your faith. And for the few minutes we'll be spending in the place of prayer, I beg of you, sir, please exercise your faith. Number two, let your prayer not end with these 14 days, but rather be persistent in the place of prayers. Be what? Be persistent and be consistent. Job says, I will wait on the Lord. Until what? My change call. The change is a new thing. But some of us that really want this second half to end for all better than the first half. If after 14 days you are not convinced that your prayers are not yet answered, it's not by a cry for you to continue. That's the truth. Some of us started waiting before the 14 days and are likely to continue till maybe the end of the convention. Fasting does not kill. There are certain problems that cannot be solved except by prayer and Fasting. So I beg you, sir. I beg you, ma. 
Be persistent and be consistent in the place of prayer. Why? Jeremiah 33, verse 3. If we call upon the Lord, what will happen? And do what? Show you the great and mighty thing that you know it not. Those that want God to do a new thing in their life. Number three, who seek divine help. Divine what? If God can help you, anything can share. If God can help you, he ya no we share. Divine help. Somebody will receive divine help tonight. Then very importantly, you want God to do a new thing for you? Follow divine instructions. A new thing happened in the book of John chapter 2 verse 5. The bridegroom, because they follow instruction, fill the empty pot with water, dip the cup into the pot, and wine came out. Widow of Zarephath followed the instruction. Prepare me a more, bring me water. Then prepare me a morsel of bread. Praise God. The widow of the sons of prophets, 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 1 to 7, follow instruction. Borrow vessel from your neighbors. Go in with your sons. Shut the door and fill. And they fill until there were no more vessels. Follow divine instruction. And finally, stand on your feet. You want the Lord to do a new thing. Hunger for it. What did I say? How many of us are hungry of a new thing? <laughs> when will it happen, sir? Lift out the hand. Do something new. Something new. Malema sunta le branda. Malega de bos kache gazuta le mama. Re blande gazota blande. Do something new in my life. I say something new in my life. Oh. Already pray, let's have that way to her. Something new in my life. I don't know that new thing. I don't know that new thing you want him to do. Song. Can you hold up for something new? Something new. Something new. Something new. As you lift up your two hands and tell him to go. Hey! Something new. Something new. Yes, Lord. Something new in my life. Oh, something glorious. Something glorious in my life. Something glorious in my life. I say. Something glorious in my life. I say. I get the full sound. Up your two hands to heaven and say, Father, and every old experiences that will not allow me and this second half better. Arise, oh God, 
end every old order and let me not remember the former things. Can you go ahead and touch it, Almighty God? Is somebody praying at all? Galima Kason Talima Ma. I had a lot to end the old order. Whatever is it that happened in first half, I had a lot to put an end to it. Is it that you lack job in first half? Is it that your business did not grow in first half? Is it that you were sick all throughout first half? Is it that you are stagnated all throughout first half? Is it that you are experiencing backwardness? Is it that you are experiencing lack and poverty all throughout first half? Is it that you were troubled? You were going through pain? Is it that you were sorrowful? Oh, Marika Balabo, God can end the old order. God can end the old order. Hey, Kali Baba Baba Baba. The old order must end for a new thing to happen. Cry to the Almighty God with all your heart, with all your strength, that the old order be ended. The old order of failure, the old order of backwardness, the old order of stagnation, the old order of lack, the old order of sorrow and weeping, the old order of poverty, the old order of joblessness, the old order, the old order, the old order. The the old order of rejection, the old order of barrenness, let it end now. The old order of sickness, let it end now. If somebody praying, better open your mouth and cry to the Almighty God. There is a particular old order that must end tonight. There is a particular old order. There is a particular old order in your life that must end this night day. This night day of this waiting on the Lord by Lika Poga. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. But a little of your hands to him. Please join me to pray. I beg of you. <laughs> Open up your heart. Because I can tell you, sir, my God answer prayers. It does not cause him anything to terminate the old order you have been experiencing permanently. How? You will never remember it anymore. Yeah. See little Joe said to heaven. You are repeating the same prayer point. And I beg of you to be specific about your life. I may call general prayer point on the altar. But you know what your experiences are. You know the old order that you want be ended in your life. So that this second half, maybe you are the one, you have been lonely, you are the one, you have been sorrowful, you are the one, you have lost your peace. That old order must end. But there might be a new thing. And by the time you look back, you say, indeed, my second half is better than my first half. Lift up your two hands. Ha. Say, Father. Father. Say, Father. Father. Wipe, away Wipe away all my old memory. My old memory of suffering, of lack, of poverty, of joblessness, of stagnation, of backwardness, of loneliness. Oh God, wipe away now my memory of the old order. Can you go ahead and touch it, Almighty God? Hey, Kalede, Kazuta, Labashi, Chelema. Los Apala, Gadabo. An old order must end. Masuka, la, 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 la. The old order must end. Oh, are you homeless? Are you jobless? The old order must end. Ali Mama, are you Barry? Are you a bachelor? Are you a spinster? The old order must end. Masalabo Shanta. Ah. Ah. 
Zelebozka. Say, remember no deformities that they wipe away my memory of suffering, of lack, of poverty, of stagnation, of failure, of frustration. Let it be ended. Salima Sotalia. Oh, Dada. Let there be an end. Oh, Dada. Let there be an end. Kali Kapala Boshiatan. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Everybody lift up your hand and stretch it to the altar. <laughs> My daddy's in the house. <laughs> Either you believe it or not, it's going to happen. <laughs> Every old order that has been forced on you you don't like it, but that has been your experience. Trevor does hands, Malika Pali Machine Tele. Nebra de Gazota Malika Paka Zagagagagagagaga Reke Tegabos a Panda Libra. I don't know what that old order is, but by the power of the Holy Ghost. And hey, come to eat. No, it is about Jesus. Every old order of suffering, <laughs> every old order of stagnation, every old order of retrogression, every old order of weeping, every old order of money, every old order of sickness, every old order of loneliness, every old order of begging is over. No, it's not about Jesus. Samatu Galabo Shiantale, a brother Savato Santa Zebole Katega Ziantalia. Let my God, the God that I saw, wipe away that memory forever in the name of Jesus. That a new order takes over tonight in the name of Jesus. I say a new order, a new order, a new order of glory, a new order of wealth, a new order of progress, a new order of joy, a new order of breakthrough. Take over in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Stretch out your hands to the altar. A new order is being introduced to somebody's life. Stretch out the hand. Stretch out the hands. Stretch out the hands. <laughs> a new order. 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 Does it? 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 A new order. Kamali kate gazantali. Zimole gazuta balema gazantali ya. From tonight, from this minute, <laughs> from this moment, <laughs> let a new thing begin in your life. Physically, spiritually, financially, materially, maritally, ministerially, professionally. Let it start with that about Jesus. I don't know who God wants to set to this night. I'm just still in one point. And I can feel my daddy in the house. Lift up the hands to heaven. Hear me as I hear God loudly right now. May the Lord double your speed of recovery. May the Lord double your speed of recovery. Your speed of recovery. Your speed of recovery. Your speed of recovery. That's what I'm hearing. Speed of recovery. Speed of recovery. Speed of recovery. Speed of recovery. 
speed of recovery. Let God double it now in the name of Jesus. Say loud and clear. More than ever before. More than ever before. Let me experience open heaven again. Go ahead and talk to the Almighty God. Go ahead and talk to the Almighty God. Open heaven. Open heaven. Open heaven. Open heaven. Open heaven. That there might be rain in due season. That there might be rain in due season. Hey, Kalima Kasun Talimama. Open heaven over your life. <laughs> Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Lift up your two hands and say, Father, whatever you need to suspend for me to end this second half. Far better than I started. Suspend them now. Go ahead and touch the Almighty God. Let the Lord suspend natural orders. <laughs> for your sake, for your sake, for your sake. For your sake, for your sake, for your sake. For your sake, whatever that needs to be suspended. Parlema sotab lande kazanta limama. Kurabage de lema sotab alie. Rekete gazunta limama. I do whatever I need to suspend. Lord, suspend them now. Ye kalima kason tali mama. Kura bragade kason talia. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Second to the last prayer point. He said, we'll close quarter pass because today is the game day. Let all the two and two have. Say, Father, single me out for divine visitation. Before this program be ended, even before daybreak tomorrow, oh God, my Father, single me out for divine visitation. You single out Solomon. You single out Mary. You single out Moses. Lord, single me out for divine visitation. Pray for yourself. I the Lord to single you out. I the Almighty God to single you out. For a divine visitation that is single me out. Lord, single me out. Almighty Father, single me out. Single me out, oh God, for divine visitation. Single out my family. Single us out. Single city of life out. For divine visitation. Lord, single us out. Please single us out. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus. Mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Finally, lift up your two hands to heaven. If I were you, you will cry with all your heart and say, Father. Father. Ah. Maybe we take the song before you take the song, before you take the prayer point. Lift up, lift up your two hands. Remember me, O oh Lord. Remember me, O oh Lord. Remember me. Celebrate the Santa Liana. Remember me, O Lord. Jehovah God. Remember me, O Lord. Almighty God. Remember me, O Lord. I hope you know you are praying. Lift up your two hands and take that song from the depth of your heart. Remember. I don't know what you want God to remember you for. <laughs> Tell him to remember me, O oh Lord. Remember me, O oh Lord. I say, remember me, O oh. Remember me, O oh Lord. God will remember you for good. Remember me, God will remember you for good this second half. to pray and cry to him to remember you now. 
Say, Lord, remember me, remember me, remember me, remember me. Remember me, oh God. Let me not end second half like first half. Let me end far better. Remember me. Remember me and grant me my needed breakthrough. Remember me and let that be lifting for my soul. Remember me and perfect my head and heal me totally. Remember me, O oh God, and favor me. Remember me and help me. Remember me, O oh God, and send helpers. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Ask him to remember you. Ask your maker to remember you. At the order of David, at the order of Joseph, Joseph was remembered. Lord, remember us. Almighty God, remember us. <laughs> Change our story. Change our story for good, for better. Ah, ba la 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 la. Hey. <laughs> Somebody pray now, talk. Lord, remember us for good. Oh, my God, remember us. And they remember us. Almighty God, remember us. Hey, remember us. Kalaboshi Antali. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Congratulations. <laughs> I say congratulations. You know why I congratulate you? Lift up your two hands. Good news. Good news. Marks to nice date. I heard God just now say, I will place a mark of remembrance upon your forehead. <laughs> Can you lift up your two hands to heaven? Mark or remembrance. Tonight is the first time in my life I ever had that. I have ministered on Mark before, but I never knew anything called Mark of remembrance. But I heard the Spirit of God say to my spirit mind, I will place Mark or remembrance upon your forehead. Can you lift up the two hands to heaven? Gracious Father, And as many listening wherever they are right now, confirm your word. Lord, confirm your word. We came without a mark, but we are living with a mark of remembrance. May it be conspicuous upon your forehead. Your helpers will see it. Your enablers will see it. Your benefactors will see it. Hosts of heaven shall say in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Very little do hands. I told you. See what I'm hearing? By the power that made God to be God, the mark of remembrance shall attract to your life your needed blessing in the name of Jesus. Your needed breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Your needed promotion in the name of Jesus. Your needed fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Your needed healing in the name of Jesus. Your needed goodness in the name of Jesus. Whatever you need here tonight, let the mark of remembrance attract it to your life in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. 
Put those hands together for the Almighty God. Amen. Please, let's stretch forth our hands towards our Father in the Lord. God has used him mightily to bless us this evening. Stretch forth your hands towards him and ask God to open his heaven like never before over him. That anointing that he has never ministered under before. That the Lord will open wide the heavens over him tonight, over his ministry, over his family, over his career, over all that concerns him. Uncommon auction, uncommon power, uncommon blessings, uncommon proof for his ministry beginning from this night that that mark of remembrance will speak forth in the mighty name of Jesus that in all ramification of his life the second half of 2021 will be far better than the first half begin to decree upon our father in the Lord ask God to uphold him in righteousness, in holiness in good works, in anointing Decree upon our Father and the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, King of glory, we exalt you tonight. Thank you for your grace upon your son. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for your power. Thank you for unction, oh God. Thank you for using him to bless us tonight, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in one accord tonight, we ask that your heavens be open over him like never before. Be open over his family like never before. Be open over his ministry like never before. Be open over all that concerns him like never before. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let the living shout the loudest hallelujah. If you know the Lord has visited you tonight, why not shout a thunderous hallelujah. Amen and amen. It's offering time. Let's tell God that we are appreciative of his visit tonight as we give him a quality seat tonight. Quality seat of appreciation. Thank you, Jesus. opportunity to sow king of glory father we say accept our thanks in jesus name please lord accept us and accept our offerings tonight in jesus name by reason of this offering king of glory let your heavens be open over us remember us and cause us to flourish in this second half in the name of jesus by our standard king of glory when this year shall be coming to an end, O oh Lord, let every one of us say unto you, O oh Lord, thank you, Jesus. Glory be to your name forever, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Please, let's be seated. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Continues tomorrow. The time is 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Why in the evening... We'll also gather at 6 p.m. also. At the end, at the close of the prayer meeting tomorrow, those of us that host our house fellowship on Wednesdays, there will be house fellowship for us. On Thursday, we're gathering also for the evening prayers and faith clinic. Friday, the 
the prayers continue till Sunday. Why at 4.30 p.m. on Saturday, we'll be having our normal evangelism. On Sunday, let us turn out for the three celebration services. As we comply with this announcement, God in his mercies will cause our second half to end better than the first half in Jesus' name. Shall we rise as we close? Why not wave your hands to the Lord? Appreciate him giving thanks for, for his visitations. Thank him for the mark of remembrance he has put on your forehead. That by reason of that mark of remembrance, doors will be opened unto you on their own accord. As you go, even beginning from this night, you will receive that phone call that will change your life in Jesus' name. Father, we say thank you. Thank you for remembrance, O oh Lord. At the order of Noah, we say thank you. Thank you for ending the old order. Thank you for the new order of new things, O Lord. Accept our thanks, Lord, in Jesus' name. As we go tonight, go with us, Lord. Grant us restful sleep night rest in the name of Jesus. Paraventure, O Lord, it pleases you to come tonight. Father, may we be on the side of remembrance. Remembrance to reign with you in the name of Jesus. Thank you because we know you have answered us. In Jesus' matchless name we have prayed. Let's share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now forevermore. Amen. And surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. Go and be remembered in Jesus' name.